America's racetrack, Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio, and the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals is done. Top Alcohol Funny Car was here in competition, and you're going to see that action right here on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel, brought to you by McKinney Corp. I'm Lee Kraft, your host, and let's have a word with the number one qualifier, a first in NHRA and Top Alcohol Funny Car. Looking at the number one qualifying power plant at the national event in Norwalk, Ohio, and it's in Top Alcohol Funny Car, and there's no blower. That means it's an injected nitro machine. Mick Steele drives it. Mick, with a 547 to go number one, is the age of nitro arrived in Top Alcohol Funny Car. Well, I believe it's, it's, it's arrived for this event. Uh, we've been working on this thing for a year, and uh, we got it out of the box first race of the year and uh, it ran at 47 and uh, we're pretty pleased with that.
65, Coleman Wayne. From the UAW Lakers squad, Shane Westerfield has a double O2 reaction time and wins by double O2. in top alcohol funny car. Sean Bellamere, you have an opportunity to get past the boss, old Tony Bartone, to become fourth all-time on the win list with 39 wins. If you can get a scoop here at Norwalk. Yeah, you know, I mean, the focus is right now today, this round win. I mean, how about Matty Gordon? You know, uh, I, I can't get them Gordons away from me. They come in uh, boys and girls and old and young, and uh, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, just to even be named up with those, you know, those legends of our sport in top alcohol racing. Those are the people I grew up around and the people that I, I never imagined even being able to race against, let alone have wins like this. So, you know, that's credit to the guys, the Killer Bees and Tony and Steve and all the, uh, uh, all the people that are involved with this race operation day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out, through the heat and the cold and the rain and the wind. This is just such a great core group. I'm just happy to be a part of it, trying to keep up my end of the deal. Not to mention, or I will at this moment, you also have an opportunity to double up for this team, the GT side of Bartone Racing, one over there in Spa. Yeah, it's 
it's a testament to the type of organizations that Tony puts together. I mean, his race operations worldwide literally um, are, are rallying off some wins. And so, you know, it wouldn't be the first time this year that we, we won with Anthony, and uh, it'd be great to do again. But, you know, I'm so proud of their GT team and what they've been able to do that 24-hour race. That is really cool. I definitely couldn't do it. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're going to try and close the book on it today. The other big red car out here in Top Alcohol Funny Car, the hot rod that won the world championship last year with Doug Gordon piloting it. Well, Maddie Gordon is behind the wheel, and she's got an opportunity to win her first national event win of her career, becoming only the 117th individual to do it in NHRA competition. Final round right here on Monday Morning Racer as you see her work away next. Top Alcohol Funny Car wins. Sean Bellamere at the wheel. Bartone Racing doubles up. They win over in Spa. They win here at America's Racetrack at Norwalk. You also surpass the boss, Tony Bartone, on the all-times Top Alcohol Funny Car list. You are now fourth with 39. What a day. What a day. I, uh, I can't tell you what the boss told me when, when, he, when uh, we addressed that very thing. But, you know, it, it's a testament to the infrastructure that Tony builds. I mean, you know his race teams are winning worldwide and that's uh that's just awesome i mean again it's just a testament to them but you know what about steve and tony and the killer bees the guys go low et in the final leave it to steve he said i've been wrong all weekend i think i got it right that thing was just a missile that time so you know i'm happy for the team it's uh that's big for the championship i mean maddie is awesome i mean she just and everybody knew she would be but the her composure cutting lights you know, she's like Doug, but better. And I, I'm kidding, Doug. But, uh, you know, she's going to be a world champion. Um, and uh, we got a long way to go still. And I know she's going to be right there to the end. We're going to duke it out the whole way. And uh, I love starting to build that rivalry with her like I did her dad. It's a lot of fun. Sean with the scoop. Thank you for watching the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for more content like this from the drag racing world and beyond in the world of motorsports. I do want to give a shout out to David Wazlowski and his website, www dragracereference.com he assisted me with the stats for this event the nhra summit racing equipment nationals that you were able to hear as i was going along and giving you the coverage and talking with these drivers check out www.dragracereference.com